Amin the X. Welcome again, great ones, to another Carpenter example tutorial. We want to perform a simulation for a motorcycle chain wheel using ANSYS workbench. Our aim is to evaluate the Van Mises stress on the rim to determine if engineers need to change the design configuration. The units used in this simulation would be metric and let's consider the fact that we have a torque of 39 newton meters applied right here at the center of our chain wheel and we are going to fix the right half portion of the chain wheel so those are our boundary condition let's jump over to ANSYS workbench and get this evaluation done now that ANSYS workbench is fully loaded and ready for us Let's come to our analyst systems toolbox and let's drag and drop a static structure into our project schematic. Now that we've done this, let's double click on the engineering data. And we already have structural steel as our default. Let's go down to our young modulus. And here we have 200 billion pascals and our poisons ratio is 0 0.3 so we work with these defaults let's close engineering data and now let's right click on geometry so you can right click on geometry right here and let's select properties Let's scroll down to analyst type and here we have 3D. Let's change that to 2D. Please note that the link for the geometry is provided in the description below. So let's navigate back to our geometry. Right click, import geometry, browse. So you would browse for wherever you downloaded your geometry and then click open. Once we are finished with that, we'll double click on model to open our mechanical. This will would take a few seconds. Mechanical is loaded and ready for us. Let's check our units. So come here at the bottom of our screen and click this little triangle and just make sure you have metric selected this one the first one right here okay and let's allow on to apply name selection so let's right click on model insert name selection for our name selection we need to select our geometry so I mentioned that we will use the outer right hand portion of the chain wheel as our fixed support so let's start by clicking here but before we do that you can press ctrl e on your keyboard or you can come right here and select edge okay so that would make it easier for us to select the edges that we need so let's start at the, the one that is most centered and use hold control on your keyboard and select the others that should be 19 of them so let's click on geometry here and select apply and let's give our selection a name so you can select it hit F2 on the keyboard and let's call that outer 
let's right click where we have name selections insert and let's apply another name selection this time let's select the center of our chain wheel and hit apply here once more and let's repeat the process f2 and let's call this inner okay now let's set up our simulation let's just go to our materials so let's open it let's click on structural steel and as you can see here the young's modulus and the poison ratio are as default as shown when we checked our engineering data so we can close that that is good let us click on mesh and let's make some changes to our mesh so you can click this maximize box make it bigger and let's change the, the size and that will be 0 0.002 hit enter now let's check our sizing so for our sizing I think everything is okay here so we don't need to change anything there therefore let's go down to quality and let's change our error limits from aggressive to standard okay standard mechanical is just fine for us okay so those two changes are okay let's work with those okay before we continue let's also use an adaptive sizing let's make that yes and we'll work with that so we can minimize this and let's navigate to mesh in our ribbon and let's hit generate now that our mesh is completed let's scroll down and let's expand statistics and let's check our nodes and elements so we have over 11,000 nodes and over 3,000 elements I'm satisfied let us continue let's right click on static structure and let's input our first boundary condition so go over to insert and let's apply a fixed support let's go here we have where we have scoping method and let's click on it and now it gives us an option where we can select our geometry or name selection let's choose name selection and let's go down to name selection here and let's select the outer that we created and as you can see here our outer half of our chain wheel is being selected okay let's repeat the process here right click here insert and now let's insert our moment let's repeat the process name selection inner and here we have our inner portion selected and let's apply our moment our magnitude value of 39 newton meters so just apply 39 and hit enter and that goes in now let's right click on solution and let's insert stress and equivalent van Mesa stress we will we would leave everything as default here and let us go to our ribbon and hit solve now that our computation is concluded let's analyze our results you can clearly see that the motorcycle chain wheel is quite deformed but this is showing 
with a bit of exaggeration because it's set to auto scale. So let's change this from auto scale to true scale. This is much better. Let's come here and change from edges to no wireframe. Now you can select the box zoom method and where we have these little red spots, we're going to analyze them. So let's box select that area by using the left mouse button. And we can see some areas of high stress level at the edge of this portion on our motorcycle chain wheel. Let's analyze the second part. So let's go to zoom to fit and repeat the process here, box select this area. And we can see they are quite similar. Now let's select zoom to fit and let us back zoom this area. Let's do it one more time. And we can see the two areas are pretty much in alignment. This is a major concern for us. And with this, we can conclude that engineers may have to alter the design configuration to reduce the stress. Or they can change the property of the material in order to increase the overall strength of the design. This concludes our evaluation. Thank you for watching. Take good care. Stay focused. Bye for now.